Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at matte top coats and what you may be doing wrong if your matte top coats and varnishes are coming out glossy. So if you've ever used a matte clear coat and end up with a glossy finish, you're not alone. This can be a common problem depending on the brand and the way in which you're applying your top coat. Thankfully the solution to this, in most cases, is rather simple. It usually comes down to the distance and the amount of clear coat you're applying to the surface. To demonstrate this, I'm using my go-to matte clear by Createx. I use this stuff on minis, on props, and on models and it's always been good to me. I'll also be using these mini busts of Nikola Tesla primed in a matte black. If you're at all interested in this Tesla bus, I'll link to it and its creator in the description below. So if you've had problems with your matte clear turning to the glossier side, here are two things you can do to mitigate that. One, keep your airbrush around 8 to 10 inches, give or take, from what you're clear coating. And two, apply your matte clear and light passes. For this Tesla bust, I'm doing three light coats and letting each layer dry for around three minutes before applying the next coat. Though this all might seem obvious, if you're new to using clear coat through your airbrush, or you're maybe just excited to get your project done, you may be tempted to lay down thicker coats of your matte clear. In terms of PSI, I'm running between 25 and 30 with a 0.35 nozzle. Your PSI may vary depending on your nozzle size and the type of clear coat that you're using. And after three coats of matte sprayed lightly, here are our results with the matte clear finish compared to the unfinished black primer. Now where problems will start to occur with your matte clear turning glossy is if you're applying the finish using too heavy a coat. This can be done deliberately if you're trying to save time by doing less passes with your top coat. This can also occur if you're running too high in air pressure, causing more clear to come out than you otherwise intended. You could also be spraying too close to the part, again causing more of the clear to land on your part than you otherwise intended. And it could always be a combination of all of these causing your matte clear to turn glossy. And here are the results spring a matte clear too close to our part while also applying the clear too heavily. And here we can see a comparison of the matte clear coat applied properly versus its glossy nightmare. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was of some help to you if your matte clear coats were turning out glossy. If you've made it this far and you haven't yet already, I hope you subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and if you want to help support the channel, there's some links in the description below. All that being said, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.